This is a 400 pound silverback gorilla, and this is former world's strongest man, Eddie Hall, who also happened to weigh 400 pounds at the time. One of them endures intense training with a diet specifically designed to reach the pinnacle of human strength performance. And the other is a pure vegan soy boy that sits around all day eating grass and occasionally pats his chest to look scary. Now, how on earth is it that the gorilla still outmatches Eddie Hall by a long shot when it comes to physical strength, speed and endurance? Well, get your snacks ready and I'll explain. The gorilla needs no introduction, but I'll give you one anyway. Gorillas are native to Central and Eastern Africa, adapting to diverse environments such as lowland forests and mountainous regions. The gorilla is also the largest living primate. They belong to the family called hominidae, which also includes chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, and of course, humans. Interestingly enough, they actually share around 98% of their DNA with us humans. Adult male gorillas, also known as silverbacks, can weigh up to 500 pounds or 225 kilograms. They can also reach a height of up to 5.6 feet or 1.7 meters when standing upright. The silverback also has a very robust and muscular body with broad shoulders and a very thick neck. It's literally built like a jacked refrigerator. Now what's interesting is that the sheer size of the silverback is not uncharted territories for us humans. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, we do have absolute units like Eddie Hall, a former strongman athlete who weighed around 400 pounds or 183 kilograms at his peak and was about 6.3 feet or 190 centimeters tall. This is actually larger than the average silverback. So if not the size, then what is it that actually makes the gorilla so much stronger than a human? Well, there are actually several factors to this question. The first being testosterone levels. Adult silverback gorillas have testosterone levels that are much higher than other males in their group, which is why they are so much bigger and stronger. You see, these elevated levels of testosterone in silverbacks affect their physiology in many different ways. Not only does it increase their muscle mass substantially by enhancing protein synthesis, but it also makes their fundamental bone structure larger and more robust, providing greater resistance against fractures and supporting the weight of their massive gorilla bodies during various activities in the jungle. These characteristics significantly enhance their overall physical strength, speed and endurance. This strength is crucial for competing with other males for dominance, defending their family groups and asserting their authority within their social hierarchy. Higher testosterone levels are also associated with increased aggression and competitive behaviors, which help silverbacks maintain their position as troop leaders. The next major difference that affects our strength is muscle fibers, and there is a substantial distinction between humans and gorillas. Muscle fiber types are categorized based on their contraction characteristics and energy sources. The two primary types are slow twitch and fast twitch fibers. Gorillas, especially silverbacks, have an unusually large amount of fast twitch muscle fibers compared to humans. These fibers are well suited for short bursts of intense activity, such as lifting heavy objects or showcasing displays of strength. But that's not all. Silverbacks are so exceptionally powerful that they essentially have their own unique muscle fiber type. Studies suggest that gorillas possess a subtype of fast twitch fibers called type 2B, which are even more specialized for explosive strength and powerful movements. This could further explain the extraordinary strength they possess. Humans, on the other hand, typically tend to have a higher proportion of slow twitch muscle fibers compared to gorillas. These fibers are optimized for endurance activities, such as long distance running or sustained physical tasks. These differences in muscle fiber types reflect the distinct evolutionary pressures and adaptations of gorillas and humans. Gorillas rely more on short bursts of strength for behaviors like territorial displays and climbing, while humans have evolved to engage in activities requiring a balance between strength and endurance. It's also important to note that the proportions of muscle fiber types can vary among individuals within each species and can also be influenced by factors such as strength training and physical activity patterns. The distribution of muscle tissue across the bodies of gorillas also plays a significant role in their incredible strength compared to humans. Gorillas have a particularly well-developed upper body, with a strong emphasis on their shoulders, chest, and arms. They also possess very sturdy lower body muscles, especially the glutes. This distribution aligns with gorillas' natural behaviors, allowing them to excel in climbing, carrying heavy loads, and asserting dominance. In contrast, humans possess a more balanced muscle distribution optimized for versatile activities. The way muscles attach to bones in silverback gorillas is also distinct from humans. These unique attachment points provide them with greater leverage and biomechanical advantages. This means they can generate more force with less effort, giving them a significant strength advantage. 
The specialized muscle insertions around joint articulations enable gorillas to efficiently lift, push and pull, particularly in actions like climbing and dominance displays. This biomechanical adaptation, fine-tuned over evolution, contributes to their exceptional strength and ability to perform tasks that require immense force, setting them apart from humans. Now, you might be wondering how the silverback gorilla sustains such a heavy muscular weight despite being mostly vegan. How does it obtain enough protein to build and maintain so much muscle tissue? Well, gorillas have digestive systems specialized to efficiently extract nutrients from fibrous plant material. While plants generally have lower protein content than animal sources, gorillas optimize their nutrient intake by consuming large volumes of diverse foods, including leaves, shoots, stems, fruits, and flowers. Their efficient digestive process and symbiotic relationship with gut microbes aid in breaking down plant compounds and extracting essential nutrients, compensating for the relatively lower protein intake. While unconventional compared to animal-based diets, these unique adaptations enable gorillas to meet the demands of their active lifestyle, supporting their remarkable muscle strength and overall well-being. Now let's delve into some calculations to see just how much a silverback gorilla could theoretically lift. But before we do that, please like the video if you've enjoyed it so far. Now, back to the video. Silverback gorillas are incredibly strong and have been observed lifting and moving heavy objects in the wild. It's believed that their upper body strength, combined with their leverage advantages, could allow them to lift objects weighing four to eight times their own body weight, making them about 27 times stronger than the average human. Considering that an average adult male silverback gorilla can weigh around 300 to 500 pounds or 136 to 227 kilograms, the upper end of this weight range suggests they might be capable of lifting objects weighing around 4,000 pounds or 18, 14 kilograms in optimal circumstances. To put this into perspective, it's comparable to lifting an adult hippopotamus. This also far exceeds the feats of strength performed by Eddie Hall or any other human strength athlete. Only one question remains. What should you do if you find yourself in a hostile situation with a wild silverback gorilla? And do humans really have any real chances for survival at all? Let's imagine you're a traveler exploring the dense and remote forests in the Republic of Congo. Suddenly, a 500-pound silverback gorilla stands before you, staring you down. You instantly freeze up and start to think about all the different actions you could take to get out of this pickle. As you stare into the gorilla's dark eyes, it charges you, and you think to yourself, this is it. I'm about to get ripped to shreds by a 500-pound silverback gorilla making Joe Rogan sounds. But the gorilla stops just a few feet before you. It was just a fake charge. You then remember all the things you've learned from this channel and quickly direct your gaze to the ground, breaking the eye contact as it can be interpreted as a challenge to the gorilla. You also choose not to run away, as this could trigger the gorilla's chase reflex. Instead, you slowly walk backward with a submissive demeanor, signaling your intention to retreat peacefully. The gorilla sees this as respectful behavior and decides that you are no longer a threat to its troop. It loses interest in you and continues with its daily activities. Now, to be realistic, there is absolutely zero chance for a human to win against any gorilla, silverback or not. Gorillas are simply in another league. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the video, and I have a little bonus fact for you. Did you know that gorillas have been observed displaying curiosity towards the bones of deceased elephants? They have been seen examining and interacting with elephant remains, which raises questions about their understanding of death and their surroundings. Very fascinating indeed. If you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like and watch some of my other videos on screen, and I'll see you in the next one.